hello and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be going to two different unis that I'm potentially thinking about studying at and I just want to check them out and see if I like click with either of them and yes I made these trips on two separate days. And the reason for the two separate days is because I wanted to get the full experience of taking the public transport all the way there and just generally getting a feel for how it is. And now the first uni that we went to on the first day, I went with my mom, was Swinburne. What's nice about Swinburne is that the second you arrive at the platform, which is next to Swinburne, you're practically already in the university. You literally just walk out and you're in the uni already. Um, and I think that's pretty great. You really don't have to worry about like getting transport from like the street to inside the uni. Um, and overall, I actually kind of really like the vibe of the place. My only really real problem with it, but this is a problem that extends to pretty much all other unis, is the fact that the architecture looks a little bit dated and it doesn't look dated in a nice way. But even still, I think Swinburne is actually pretty good with its architecture. Like it doesn't look as bad bad as some other unis do um and so i think that while it may seem like a weird point to note i think it's kind of really important for me to feel like i enjoy a place for me to go there and complete a degree for about five years so to me the vibes were looking pretty sweet the only problem that i had with there and that's not like the unis problem is the fact that there wasn't many people there and it just felt so like quiet and it felt a sort of like eerie sort of quiet and not like a very peaceful and calm sort of quiet. I am someone who generally likes things to be busy so it was strange for me to go to a uni where it wasn't like bustling with people but that's because this was time like summer holidays and most people weren't actually even at uni so you know it makes sense. And then we went to go check out their science building um, well, the chemistry building specifically because I definitely want to have this as part of my course. Um, and honestly, uh, this feels like a little bit boring. This feels a lot more dated than the outsides of the buildings do. Like, it looks pretty old and also, also looks like very boring. And it definitely feels like it does not have enough there to stimulate my mind. For me to like continuously like going there for several years so that was something for me to think about and then we also went to go check out the humanities section i guess um and this is to see how the law buildings were and all um but then we kind of just like were walking around the campus just like generally checking things out because i'm not entirely sure which rooms my lectures are probably going to be in um so yeah, we were just getting a feel for the place. After we kind of cruised around, um, we had a bite to eat. Lunch was actually pretty delicious. Um, we bought it from the uni. And other than that, that pretty much concluded our day there. I did enjoy being there. There were some things that I thought that I was gonna have minor issues with later, but that was it. So I think it's really funny how there's a Deakin Uni billboard inside Swinburne University, basically. And for the second uni, my second option for a uni is La Trobe and the La Trobe Bandura campus, not the city campus, which kind of sucks because that means it adds quite a bit to my travel time and it adds so much to my travel time that it's the main factor that's pushing me away from the uni so i really wanted to test exactly how long it would take because we have to take the tram from in front of southern cross because that's the station that i get in at and from southern cross it's an hour tram ride to the campus which is quite lengthy and honestly while sitting there it wasn't that bad it did not feel like i was sitting there for an hour but i don't know if that was just the novelty of it being the first time
So unlike with Swinburne, you actually just have to get off on the main road that passes in front of the campus. And because the campus is so big, there's also a lot of parking spaces. You have to walk quite a bit from like the main road to get to any like significant buildings. But once we were in, uh, we went to the La Trobe Institute of Molecular Sciences building and this looks really cool. It looks very like visually appealing and it also feels like a fresh sort of place that I would enjoy being at. Following on, this is like the main sort of cafeteria, courtyard sort of area, um, and it's really nice. I really appreciate the greenery that's there and just the general vibes of the place. It's pretty cool. And this is inside the social sciences building. Now what I will say is that Swinburne has that leg up on La Trobe where their buildings from the outside look less dated than La Trobe's buildings look like from the outside. Like, from the outside, La Trobe's buildings look so boring. Well, most of them. Not this, like, main courtyard area, but most of the other, like, significant buildings. Like, they just look so 60s, 70s. Like, ugh. It, not great, right? But the insides, I feel, are better in La Trobe. Like, the insides feel more modern, more fresh, and more of what I need to stop myself from getting bored, you know? I feel like it may sound odd that I'm putting so much emphasis on like, if I'm gonna get bored or not, but I feel like it it's the same as, you know, choosing a home, you know? Which one feels like home? And which is why I feel like of all places, this is where vibes need to be considered the most because this is the place that I'm going to be studying at constantly for the next couple of years and I need it to kind of be a good fit to me. We also had some delicious lunch here um, and after lunch we actually went around and we did some like shopping around Preston and stuff but from there we got onto Bell Station. Overall, that was Uni Vibe Check completed. And that mostly concluded our campus seeing for the day. Now I was sitting in the train and I was given time to reflect and I was given a lot of time to reflect because something did go Awry. Right. Well, again, passengers, uh, as I mentioned, there is a bit of congestion coming in the front and there will be a short delay. I can say that the trains ahead of us aren't moving. Uh, unfortunately, they can't make any promises how quick we'll be, but we'll be able to So, yeah, at this point, um, the stop before Flinders Street Station, there appeared to be some congestion on the lines ahead. And I don't know how that happens. Maybe it's because one train comes late and then the other train comes on time and it's like, hey, where's my spot? And then the next train comes on time while the first train still hasn't got out of there, whatever. But it was a little bit annoying, especially considering we had a connection train to catch and we were kind of worried that we weren't going to make it. And after moving for a bit, the train stopped again, and this time it stopped for a longer time.
But either way, those were some of our travels, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you continue to have a good day. And I will sit and now reflect on which one of those unis I liked more and which one I think is worth going to for the next five years.